Hi. Come. Don't worry. I'm going to explain this in details. So you are going to understand it very well. The first thing you need to understand, whenever you see a polynomial, like this is a polynomial of degree 3, okay? And it's called cubic polynomial because the highest value of x here is 3. Now, for the other polynomials, we have polynomial of degree 4 and so on. We have polynomial of degree 2. That is your normal quadratic equation. That is, if you have something like x squared plus 2x plus uh, 2 is equal to 0. Notice that the highest power of x is 2. So that is why it's called quadratic equation. It is what? A polynomial of degree 2. In the board, on the board, we have polynomial of degree 3 called cubic polynomial. So the first thing you need to understand is what a root is and what a what a root is and what a factor is. Now, x minus 2 is, a, is going to be a factor if and only if the root you are going to form from here is what, when you substitute it here, you are going to get 0. This is what I mean. When you substitute f of x into your polynomial and the remainder is 0, that means that x is a root. For example, let me write a complete polynomial. For example, if we have x to the power of 3 plus x minus 10 is equal to 0. This. Now, if I say let my x be equal to 2, that is x is equal to 2. Now, this will be root when I substitute it into this equation and my, I get this 0. Now, let's try it. 2 to the power of 3 will give us 8 plus 2 minus 10 is equal to 0. So 8 plus 2 will give us 10 minus 10 is equal to 0. You can see that when I substituted 2 into this equation, that I got 0. So that simply means that this 2 is a root of this cubic polynomial. All right? So that simply means that if x is equal to 2, that is this 2 is a root. Now, the, poly, uh, the factor of it is x minus 2. Is equal to 0. So this x minus 2 is a factor. So x equals 2 is a root, but a factor is what? x minus 2 is a factor. There are two different things. Now, when you substitute the value of x into your polynomial and it's not equal to 0, that means your x has a remainder. Okay, that means there is a remainder after you substituted your x. For example, if you substitute something and you got, according to what they said, the remainder is 6. It means that that particular uh, number that you substituted is not a root. Okay? Now, let's go ahead and analyze what you have on the board. So, we are told that, first of all, that f of x is this. Now, it's divisible by x minus 2. It's divisible, not that it is a factor. It's just that it can be divided by x minus 2. And when it does, the remainder is 6. Okay, so this simply means that this is the factor that we have, x minus 2. Now, let's bring out our root from there. It means that our x is equal to 2. It means that our x is equal to 2. So, 2 is what? Our what? Our uh, root. So, what are they trying to say? That they're trying to tell us that if we substitute 2 into this polynomial, our remainder is 6. That is, we are going to get 6 as our final answer. So that means that f of 2 is equal to 6. Okay? So that is equation 1. Now, for this particular one, f of x, they said that x minus 1 is a factor of what? f of x. So once x minus 1 is a factor of f of x, that simply means that when you substitute 1, x minus 1 is a factor. The root here is that is what the opposite of minus one, which is what one. So when you substitute one into this f of x, that means that you are going to get zero. Okay, since it's a factor. So it means that f of one is equal to zero. And these are the things we needed. That's all. So we are asked to solve for p and what q. Now let me clean all this so that I can use my board in peace. Now let's continue. So the first statement is that f of 2 is equal to 6. This is equation 1. And the second statement is f of 1 is equal to 0. This is equation 2. Now, for f of 2 to be equal to 6, that means we are going to substitute 
two into this uh, polynomial, okay? So we have P multiplied by two to the power of three, right? Plus Q multiplied by two squared minus 17 multiplied by two plus four Q is equal to six, is equal to six, all right? So this implies that, let's remove this one, okay? Just so that this is F of two. So this implies that 8P plus 4Q minus 20, 34, sorry, minus 34 plus 4Q is equal to 6, okay? Now, 8P plus, okay, we have only 1P. So 8P, we are collecting like terms, plus 4Q plus 4Q is 8Q, okay? Is equal to, this is 6, Minus 34 we cross to become plus 34, okay? So we have 8P plus 8Q is equal to what? 40. So this becomes our equation one. Hope you are with me, okay? Now let's form our equation two. According to our equation two, we are told that F of one is equal to zero. So f of 1 simply means p bracket. Anywhere we see x, we replace it with 1. 1 to the power of 3 plus q bracket 1 squared minus 17 q times 1 squared minus 17 multiplied by 1 plus 4 q. Now this is equal to 0. Is equal to 0. Since we are told that this one is a factor. So we have... 1 times p is p plus 1 times q is q minus 17 plus 4q is equal to 0. So we have p plus q plus 4q is plus 5q is equal to minus 17. We cross to become plus 17. So now this becomes our second equation. Have you subscribed yet? Then please subscribe, okay? Thank you. Now, we have formed two equations. The first one is 8P plus 8Q is equal to 40. All right. So I'm going to clean everything now. And I'm going to just concentrate on our words, on what we got. That 8P plus 8Q is equal to what? 40. Now, the other one is that P plus 5Q is equal to 17. So P plus 5Q is equal to 17. Now, we need to solve this simultaneously, and I want to use the elimination method, and to do that, I need my P. Let me use my P. I want them to have the same coefficient. And for them to have the same coefficient, that means I need to multiply this by eight, so that I'll have eight P here as well. Then this one is already eight P, so I'll multiply this by one. So when I do that, I will have eight P, plus 8q is equal to 40. This is our equation 1. Now, 8 times p will give us 8p, plus 5q times 8 will give us 40q is equal to 17 times 8. Now, 7 times 7 is 49. 7 times 8 is 56, right? So, 7 times 8 is 56, right? F uh, 6 and carry 5. 1 times 8 is 8, 8 plus 5 is 13. So we have 136. Okay, now we can now solve this as what? Um, simultaneously, we cannot solve this simultaneously. So let's subtract. 8p minus 8p is 0. 8q minus 40q, we give you minus 32q is equal to 40 minus 136 should give us what? So let's say 136 minus 40. So we bring down 6. 13 minus 4, we give you 9. So we have minus 96. So to get the value of Q, we are going to divide by minus 32 minus 32. Now this, we divide this. We have that Q is equal to, so this we divide, this will be divided by this to give us what? Three. So that means that our Q is equal to three. All right, now let's solve for the value of what? P. Now recall from our first, uh, our first equation that 8P 
plus 8q plus 8q is equal to 40. So 8p plus 8 brackets, our q is 3, right? Is equal to 40. Now, what do we have? 8p. We have that 8p plus 8 times this is 24 is equal to 40. So 8p is equal to 40 minus 24, right? Which is 16. So divided by 8, divided by 8, we will have that p is equal to 2. And that is it. So our q is 3 and our p is what? 2. Thanks so much for watching and...